Oh, what's going on? Welcome back. Let's start it off with a Mox Emerald. There's also a Minskin Boo and a Demonic Tutor. This is a nice pack. I'm going to take the Mox because that's how you do it. So I'm just going to say, okay. You know, this pack's actually pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a lot of good cards in this pack. We're going to take this good card. Ooh, an Underground Sea. That's a beaut. That is a beaut, as they say. Also Wasteland. I'm not a big Wastelander, you know? Thoughtseize is nice. Hmm. I kind of just want the Underground Sea, to be honest. I feel like I've been blue-black a lot, but I also feel like... Maybe it's Omnath here? Yeah, I think Seize is definitely one of the best cards in this pack. I just really don't want to commit to... Actually, the black-green deck's pretty fun. You know what? Nick Squirt, you got me. I'm in. Son of a bitch, I'm in. Fallen Shinobi. Whew, getting a little getting a little toasty. Uh, there's also Kogla and Snuff Out. Snuff Out's pretty good. You ever just killed a creature for free? Are we drafting artifacts? God, I hope not. I, I'm actively trying not to, to see if there's like a, like how many decks you can make with like, without being like super artifact centric. I think I just want the snuff out here. I take Fallen Shinobi, but I don't think it's gonna, I mean, the Cola probably comes back because literally no one drafts green in this cube. Carnosaur has been good. I agree with that. I don't want to take a double red card after Mox Emerald Thoughtseize though. Oh, Archon? Yeah, we're just taking Archon and hoping that, like, we can easily build around this. There's a, this pack is also really good. Jeez. Palantir, Chariot, Rafelos, Overgrown Tomb, Atali is amazing. Yeah, we're just taking Archon, though. Archon is Archon. <sighs> oh, I don't play full price for my mon my monsters. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're, there, we don't have to be green. Let's not, let's not assume this is a green card. We'll see what comes back. But I think for a black deck, these are okay. We could also be green. I think Pest Infestation is probably nuts here. Um, easily one of the best cards in the pack. Definitely going to take that. All right. And the fact that, like, the Mox that we have does work with it. I mean, that's... I'm not going to... That's not nothing. Okay. Deep Cavern Bat. There's a Heath. It's Questing Beast, which is just very good. Shouldred's Edict. I think we're just taking the Beast. Bat is also nice, especially if Fallen Shinobi comes back and Sylvan Caryatid come back. Ugh, God, why am I such a Fallen Shinobi stan? It also just gets a card out of their hand. I'm taking the Bat. Oh, Tropical Island. That's interesting. Yeah, we'll take a Tropical Island. <laughs> Y'all gotta pull my leg to draft some Sultai. Buddy. Also, it's, I think it's very likely Sylvan Caryatid comes back. It's very likely Fallen Shinobi comes back. I feel like the odds are in our favor there. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. 
and then you gotta wait. I doubt the Underground Sea is coming back, but that's okay. Blooming Marsh might also come back as well. Nurturing Peatland, I do like. Torok is pretty good. I don't think we're Thopter Foundrying here. I, I kind of want the fixing. I think we have much better fixing. I think Torok is actually really good, especially when we have like Thoughtseize. Oh wow, you guys are really going for, for the questing beast meme. Uh, yeah, but the thing about the black duels is I think they'll come back because they're also green duels. I think Overgrown and Blooming Marsh. Blooming Marsh will 100% come back. I will almost guarantee it. <laughs> Probably taking Gristlebrand here. Yeah, that's better than Sunken Ruins for us. I think we have no blue cards yet. Uh... Well, Sleeper is pretty decent. I don't know if we'd be playing Wasteland. Like, this is usually a pretty color-heavy deck. Like, we already have Triple Black, Quad Black, Double Black. Yeah, we'll take Evolve Sleeper here. I mean, in the mid-range Black-Green deck, I'll definitely just play Evolve Sleeper. I'm cutting my fingernails. <laughs> Dude, there's something that just gives me such a joy from Kerwitz Random Updates. Kurt literally messaged me after the stream earlier and was like, I'm eating yogurt. I'm taking this trumpeting carnosaur. A lot of the cards, yeah, there's the overgrown. Fantastic. Let's see if that blooming marsh comes back. We did not get fallen shinobi, unfortunately. Someone else took that. But I think we got some pretty good black cards. There's the marsh. Not going to take euro. I'd rather just have a, a consistent land for our main colors. Then another blue card that requires double blue for the most powerful version. Okay, Grave Titan came back. And Rankle. Not unplayable, but I'm not a huge fan of Rankle. All right. All right, what do we got here? Mox Diamond is great. There's a Rot Farm and a Dark Ritual. I think we're just Mox Diamonding here. Don't have an engine for Recurring Nightmare yet. But it is pretty good if we can get any of these guys into the graveyard. Bitter Blossom was actually taken out of the cube, which is kind of like one of the best cards to go with Recurring Nightmare. Yeah, Rankle took half my name and now I'm just F. So it's, it's unfortunate, but I mean, what do you expect? You know, it's, I think it's either Mox Diamond or Recurring Nightmare. Ophiomancer might be the best now, but I think Bitter Blossom was previously the best. Being able to go turn two Bitter Blossom, turn three Recurring Nightmare is better than two turn threes. I think Mox Diamond is a little stronger, especially with what we have. We, this, is, this is also double Mox. Uh, this actually stays in the main deck now. Shallow Grave. Interesting. I don't think I care about Exploration. Don't care about Spelunking. I think it just might be Shallow Grave here. Yeah, Wreck actually might come back. I agree with that completely. Wheel does put thing in, things in yards, but I definitely don't want to be another color. Based on Blooming Marsh Overgrown Tomb and Mox Emerald, it's significantly easier to cast Pest Infestation and just lean into green. Definitely surprised Questing Beast didn't come back. Maybe there is a green drafter in here after all. Drafter all. Okay. Well, Mind Twist is going to do it. Seems good. Yeah, there's nothing in this pack I'm really sad about. If Dryad of the Elysian Grove comes back, that would be great. Or Endurance. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. Mind Twist third pick is pretty good signal. Hmm. 
Bone shards is great. It actually lets us discard one of our fat idiots to shallow grave. Um, I think it's just bone shards. Could be Oracle. Oracle might come back. I think I'd just rather have the removal. Oh, Copter is a yeah, Copter's good. I mean I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take Copter over Mind Twist, but there is a couple cards in that pack. If Oracle comes back, that'd be great. If Baleful Mastery comes back, I'd be fine with that. Grist. Also, Currency Converter is really good. It's gotta be Grist, right? Is Grist better than Currency Converter? It's a discard outlet, it lets you loot. Grist does make, yeah, but so does Currency Converter. I mean, I think these are quite similar. I think, I think we're gonna go with the Grist here. Once Upon a Time is interesting. I mean, it's either Once Upon a Time or Duress. And we already have Thoughtseize and Mind Twist and Torok and Deep Cavern Bat. I think we're good on cards to discard. And Mosswood... Uh, actually, I was kind of impressed with Massacre Girl. It's kind of like a, a Wrath that just, like, sticks around. I think it's actually... I think it's actually Massacre Girl here. Oh, there's the Ophiomancer. Yeah, we're going to take Ophiomancer here. If we end up getting... It's also good with Bone Shards, right? You can sack a creature. Yeah, kind of hoping the Recurring Nightmare comes back now. This is 17 plus 6, this is 23. So it would be next pick, wouldn't it? <laughs> I would like the Rot Farm, but I think this is uh, looking like a decent Nightmare deck. Wow, that was great. Jeez. Well, our deck's almost done. We also have just a Rankle in the sideboard. That's a discard outlet for Archon. Uh, I think the bounce lands are fine, but I honestly think there's they take up too much space in the cube. I think the lands archetype is too cute. Uh, Eternal Witness is pretty good. I'll definitely take an Eternal Witness. Endurance came back too. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, Yeah, so like I think Valakut, Prismatic Omen, the bounce lands, Spelunking, like they're all kind of cute. The problem is, like, they just don't do much on their own. Whereas, like, if you're drafting... Yeah, we'll definitely take Sound of the West. If you're drafting, like, Reanimator, you can kind of also either cast those cards or, um, you know, also have, like, a secondary plan, like Show and Tell or Flash or Through the Breach, right? So, like, the cards are, like... Um, they perform double duty. You're not just locked into like one archetype where if you don't get all the cards, your deck kind of sucks. Um, but like the problem with the lands deck is that like, if you don't get the cards, like your deck does kind of suck. So it's kind of like trappy and I kind of try to avoid that in my own cube. Wow, Kaido is really good too, especially if we can pick up a couple more blue cards. Um, I try to avoid cards that are, that are only useful in like one specific archetype. I mean, the problem is like, yeah, you said they just wanted to make, oh, wow, <laughs> this is a great last pick. Um, interesting. So nothing great here, unfortunately. Retrofitter Foundry is decent, especially with Recurring Nightmare. Yeah, that's probably the pick, actually. 
this is what I mean. Like Currency Confirmer and Retrofitter Foundry are just such good one drops and like they're good in any deck. And it's almost like they shouldn't be in the cube. I don't know. Like our move seems good right now. We have Bone Shards, Snuff Out, Massacre Girl. Uh, Ophiomancer's kind of like removal. Grist is removal. Yeah, I think we're just taking Retrofitter Foundry. Yes, you could definitely sacrifice all your lands to Reign of Filth <laughs> to make your mind twist bigger. <laughs> Trade your lands for cards. And Dotha Triome is black green. I don't think we're portaling. Tenacious Underdog is interesting. It does kind of lean us into a more aggressive archetype. I do like Knight's Whisper. It might just be Triome here. It's probably good for our lands. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Triome here. It's a it's a dual land. And that's pretty good. Oh, him to Torok? <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. Yeah, we're just taking him to Torok here. You can go here. I wanna take out the Kaito and the Sail for now. Like we just don't need to be blue. Well, yeah, the problem with Entomb right now is that I feel like we don't have enough uh, reanimate spells. Oh, Genesis Engine? Yeah, we're definitely taking that. Just kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, man. What a little goof. I think Wall of Roots would be fine if it added black mana. Ignoble Hierarch would be decent, I think. I don't think we're Doomsdaying. What is this? Search library for basic land, put it on the battlefield, tapped. Great. Create a 1-1. One, one. Target creature gets plus X, gains tremble from under X is the number of basic lands. So it gets just plus 2, plus 2. Like, this card just doesn't seem good. <sighs> it's probably because it's not. I think it might just be Deeper Wayfinder. Just surveilling, putting guys in the graveyard. It's not great, but... Yeah, somehow our, our packs have dried up. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess it's just Thran Dynamo. Maybe we like ramp to some of these things. If we play it. Probably not. But I mean, it's very possible to like cast a Grave Titan, an Archon, a Mind Twister, a Pest Infestation off of Thran Dynamo and feel good about it. We can also just, I don't know. We're probably probably playing Endurance main deck. That seems good enough, right? Can see maybe cutting the Sleeper, but... It's a decent value. It does cost a lot to... Is Grist still a Planeswalker in the graveyard? That's a great question. I think so. It's a creature in addition to its other types. Yeah, so it's a creature and a Planeswalker. I'm, we're taking Terra Sunder. That's fantastic for us. That's just a four mana removal spell. This guy is very good. So is Virtue of Persistence, though. Oh, man. What a pick. Like, how are we getting these guys in the graveyard is really my question. <laughs> like, right now, we just have Bone Shards. I, these are the only two we really, really concerned about, I think. This guy might just be better, weirdly enough. I don't think it's Putrid Imp. I don't think we're heavy, heavy enough on reanimation. I do like, oh, Scavenging is interesting. Also Concealing Curtains. Yeah, we'll take the Curtains. We already have Endurance. 
I'm going to I'm going to take the endurance out of the main. I don't think it's super necessary. Like it's definitely great. I guess these are both 3 4s. This guy becomes a 4 5 though and it also makes a token and it's easier to cast, I don't know. Like I guess we're like milling with grist hoping to hit one that seems really hard. I do like Liberator. I do like Trespasser. We already have Tear Asunder. Um, considering we have Mox Diamond and Mox Emerald, I think I'm just taking the Trespasser here. It's also another graveyard card. Oh, Underdog came back? Sure. I mean, we might just be like an aggressive, aggressive deck. I could see taking out Retrofitter Foundry, to be honest. It seems a little slow, and I'd rather just play, like, Dread Knight or Tenacious or Sentinel. Like, I don't feel like there's going to be a ton of turns. Wow, Troll? Okay. Okay, we need, like, two cuts here. Could be Once Upon a Time. I think Once Upon a Time is fine, but, like, I guess if we play it as a land, it's okay. Just take Najila. So, oh, a Putrid Imp. <laughs> Last pick Putrid Imp, sure. Honestly, Reanimation is literally just like Recurring Nightmare and Shallow Grave, and I don't even think we're a Shallow Grave deck. I think we just play Recurring Nightmare as like a value card. Like, cutting the grave, I kind of like this configuration. And, like, we have Troll as another land, and, and a guy we can get in the graveyard to Ophiel Man to a uh, Recurring Nightmare. These guys we can just cast. Tornado Sirens, huh? <laughs> that seems good. Oh boy. Um all right. Yes, 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 yes. This guy's more of a four drop as well. What does the creatures explore thing do? Are you talking about Sentinel? Or are you talking about this guy? What are you what are you what are you talking about, Nick? Oh, yeah, so it's a 3-4 for, for 3 with Vigilance. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, you make a map token, and then you can sacrifice the map token, obviously, to uh, make target creature explore. Also, Deep Root Wayfinder was pretty decent. I am tempted to cut the Gristlebrand and just play, like, Wayfinder. I think there's going to be more games where, like, this guy... I mean, this guy's just a 3-4 three, for 3, and, like, he's just a beater. And then you start exploring for free, which either puts cards in your graveyard or draws you lands. Like, I, I, I don't think this guy gives a shit about artifacts. And this guy returning lands from the from your graveyard to the battlefield seems pretty decent. All right, we'll try this guy out, and then we'll just call it a day. <laughs> I do like this archetype. I don't know if I don't know how this this deck is going for five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That seems fine. All right, 16 lands, Mox Diamond, Mox Emerald. Yeah, ex oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Nick. Yeah, Explore is reveal the top card of your library. Not re it's, Is it reveal? I think it's reveal. Um, you can, ch if it's a land, you draw it. If it's not a land, you can either put it in your graveyard or leave it on top and the creature gets a 1-1 counter. 
So the creature's either getting buffed or you're drawing a card, basically, with Explore. And you get to kind of, like, scry. Like, it, it, it lets you, like, put cards other places. Like your butthole. All right. Ah, oh, yes, the one land. A classic. <laughs> it's a classic one lander. Let's ship it. Well, that's a keeper. Let's pitch Gravy Boy. So we can go turn one Thoughtseize. Oh, that's a good one. Retrofitter Foundry. What were we saying about artifacts and Retrofitter Foundry? Let's see what you got. Tameshi Tezzeret Nettle Cyst. So you can cast Nettle Cyst. You can't cast anything else. So I guess we'll just take the cyst here. You know, usually when you remove a cyst, it's for... It's, it's, it's good. I feel like it was bad for the opponent, though, you know? Get that island. You got it. Wow, that was a good draw. Let's you play Tameshi now. Hmm. Well. They don't have any white mana, though. That's interesting. We can't mind twist, try to hit one. I don't think that's very good. Let's go get... Probably just Overgrown Tomb. I think in Doth of Triumph being in the... No. I don't want an untapped land bugging me later in the game. When we, like, need to cast Grave Titan or something. So. Now we have three plays that we can make next turn. Yep. Wow, that was good. If they draw two cards, it's actually pretty decent. And they can also activate this. Like, this is what I mean. Like, these artifact strategies just... Like, it's all you play against. Oh, John, what's up, my dude? Good seeing you, buddy. Pest infestation is going to be decent this round, I imagine. Well, let's see what we hit here. Come on, Tezzeret. Tezzeret Island. Okay, well. I guess we'll see what the last card is. Oh, what up, Cyborg Yui? I mean, I wouldn't mind a pest infestation in the near future. Oh, God, here we go. Wonderful. Wow. <laughs> Great draws. Oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't even make sense to play non-artifact cards. You're like, oh, one mana, one mana, three mana. Like, it's just not even... What is it? Recurring Nightmare, huh? Hmm. All we have is Troll. Like, we're really trying to hit Pest Infestation or something like Terra Sunder, I think. Yeah, I think we're just putting that in the graveyard. Oh, they didn't make a guy at the end of the turn. That's good for us. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, draw a card. That's fine. I'm not gonna like. They didn't. They didn't do anything. That's good for us, I guess. Hmm, overgrown tomb, eh? Three, four, five. They just block and sack, I guess. We hit a Torok. What does that do? Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> so three. They double block here. We get to kill both. I think that's actually fine. Can they make this a 4-4? Four, four? That's a good question. So they tap one to, to turn the Servo into a Thopter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. One to turn into a top thopter, three to untap, so that's these four. Eh, feels not great. Feels incorrect to do that. You cannot crack map, crack map at instant speed. No, it's a sorcery effect. Yep. Now they can just make a second guy. Yeah. Hmm. That is a thing, isn't it? Oh, they'll, they'll definitely slap down a Tolarian Academy. Don't you worry, Nick. Don't you worry. <laughs> Tolarian Academy incoming. Yeah, I'm glad we took out the Gristle Brand. I think it's just, without a dedicated reanimate or through the Breach strategy, it's just too many eight drops. Oh, wow, that's a regular land. But now they have Tameshi online, so they can just, like, activate Soul Ring, bounce Soul Ring, replay Soul Ring. Oh, no, it's not in the graveyard. I always get, like, the return an artifact or return a land confused. They can get Nettlesis back, I guess. Sure. Well, we already put Zerta back in the graveyard, which is nice. Then they would have infinite mana with a retrofitter foundry. Okay. Yep, getting Nelsus back and they bounced Mountain, sure. Yep, that guy's pretty big. Okay, but they're not attacking with it, so that's good. Come on, pest infestation, one time. Just one time. Sure, draw a card, don't care. Eternal Witness. It's not even the best, but... They do have a 9-9. Nine, nine. That's pretty big. Let's get back Nightmare. Yes, of course. Of course. Nightmare. It's 
make a guy, see what we hit. Forest, okay. Let's get back. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jesus, really? That's ridiculous. All right, I guess we're passing here. They didn't make a Thopter. This is so weird. Like, I feel like they're not playing very well. No offense, but like, they could have made a Thopter and equipped the Nettlesis to attack us for like 10. They could have just killed us, I think. I think that just kills us, right? What? <laughs> well, I'm at 10. He just missed again. How many? What? This is actual lethal. And they're just like, eh. Multiple lethals. <sighs> yep. Great. Okay, great. <laughs> Fantastic. Instead of winning, I'm going to just dirtle for two turns, you see. Yeah, man. Whatever you want to do. It's, it's your world. We're just living in it, you know? I mean, we have Terra Sunder. We have Pest Infestation. Like, we just have to draw them, I guess. Massacre Girl would have been pretty good, I think, in that situation. We also had, we started with Thought Seize and Mind Twist. Still can't beat like a turn one Sol Ring though. Uh, I mean, Concealing Curtains is just worse than like Thought Seize, Him to Torok, Mind Twist. In regular Torok. <laughs> so like, I don't know. Feels like we did the best we could do, you know? Sure, this is fine. I have a slow hand, so... Well, a slow start, because, you know, you don't get a... We have Mox Emerald and Mox Diamond, but we don't... We don't draw those. Yep, there it is again. This card's on its way out of my cube, for sure. It's just not fun. I'm gonna bat here. We got Zerda, Throne, Tezzeret, Time Warp. Okay, you're like nowhere near casting that, but next turn you can cast Throne. Sure, let's take the Throne. Do you have Island Workshop as your lands? gone. Gristly Bissell. Let's get in there. One more black source and we got a got a Torok here. Not a black source, so I'm fine with it. No attack. Oh, there's a black source. Good day, sir. Alright, so we know about... Oh, Kappa Cannoneer and Time Warp. That's pretty sweet. So we know these are the three cards left in your hand. That's good to know.
Really wish I had to get a way to get rid of the retrofitter foundry, but. That's fine. The two lands we've hit are not cards I would have wanted, so. So we know they have Workshop, Zerta, and Tezzeret. So we know they have Workshop, Zerta, and Tezzeret. Sure. Well, make a 4-4. Four, four. So they can actually go one in a sack, make this a 1-1-3, one, one, make it a 4-4 four, four block here. I think that's actually fine. They chose not to, so. What is going on? Why aren't they making, they're like not sacking things to make them better things. Like now you're gonna make a one one Thopter, but in, or a Servo, and but instead you could have made a Thopter. It's all very confusing. Archon of Cruelty. That feels like it's worth getting. Okay, that was that was a game. <laughs> All right, well. Endurance doesn't seem to do much. Yeah, all right. I mean, Grist is fine. It gets stuff in the graveyard. It makes one ones for a recurring nightmare. Like, I don't think anything else is really better. Maybe concealing curtains, but. I mean, it also kills Planeswalkers and we've seen Tezzeret, so. You know, I guess I don't think our other options are better than Grisp. Does Rankle, what is, I mean, like if Rankle made them sacrifice an artifact, I'd be on board. Massacre Girl does seem, seem great if we can actually draw her. I mean, it's possible I'm actually underestimating Rankle. Yeah, whooping Rankle in instead of Snuff Out. Like, I don't foresee many creatures that were snuffing out, and I'd probably rather have a Rankle in my hand. Two games via versus turn one retrofit. Well, was was the first game turn one retrofitter? I know they went turn one soul ring. Did they cast retrofitter off of that, or did we have to, or did they wait until like the next turn? Okay. Well, this is a hand. Archon's a little expensive. I'm 
I'm glad you remember. I tried to black it out. Whew. All right. Well, nothing on turn one. I'm okay with that. Oh, uh, I would love a three drop here. We have a ton of really good three drops. Trespasser, Graveyard Trespasser. What is... Oh, Porcelain Legionnaire. Interesting. Okay. Grave Titan. Got it. Torok into killing into Porcelain Legionnaire seems good. So as long as we can dodge something that really disrupts us. They did go to six. Do they not have a land? They gotta have a land. Okay. Yep. So, Swamp, Memerald, Cast with Kicker. Got a Tezzeret and a Cannoneer again. Nice. Those are some good ones. Fascinating. I have nothing in my graveyard. Pest infestation. Forest. I see. I wonder if we just rankle here. Choose any number. Uh, I, yeah, discarding Archon is rough because they have unlicensed hearse. I mean, it might not matter, but <laughs> uh... what if made a dual face creature? If you sack three food tokens to it, it transforms. The other side is the same creature, but it's fat. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. We could also just choose none, so. Get Ranklin. Put this trigger on the stack. I think it is discards the next time we play Grave Titan. I'd rather discard Masker Girl though. Because I think this is going to wipe our board. Oh, we just win. Okay. <laughs> well, that does it, I guess. That does the thing. All right. Round two after a round I did not expect us to win. Oh, this is a good hand. This is a turn one Sentinel, right? That seems good. I think we can forego thought seizing just to get that Sentinel, you know? Okay, you got oh you oh you fancy too, I guess. Now I kinda wanna turn one thought sees, I'll be honest. I think letting them play something well, we have snuff out actually. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll them dice, you know what I'm saying? Do we discard Triome? If we draw four drop, other than Torok. Forest is better. 
what's the main philosophy of this cube and what Star Wars movie is the most like? <laughs> Dre, bro, I love you, buddy. Oh man. What a what a what a hero. J Bro, do I just start Forest or Triome here? What's the discard? What's the pitch? Keep forest. Interesting. All right. This is me trusting J Bro. You do got a nuck if you buck. That's that's a hundred percent true. Oracle? Oh, Quester. Uh no blocks. I said no. See you in the garbage can, my little friend. Let's check let's check what you got. Morphos? Yeah, Alright, that's gone. Uh, recurring nightmare. That's not very good now, is it? It's not very good. Uh, yeah, I'll put that in the graveyard. Make another treasure. Make another map. Buddy, we are finding so many, so many locations. Now, what is it? Him to Torok? Yeah, I'll put that in the graveyard too. They have one card. They're, presumably they're going to play a card or a land. They're going to have one card. Yeah, or they just play both and then we have... There you go. They got great. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Not really there yet. All right. We'll get there. This guy's getting sizable. All right, let's go... Map it up. Deep Root Wayfinder. Yeah, that guy can go in the trash too. All right. Well, we have a six, seven now. And they have three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Let's just hope they dodge. Oh, that's sad. Well, that's unfortunate. All righty then. <laughs> Here we go. Top deck, top deck mode. Oh, a tinker went into the graveyard. And they had a land. Great. Okay, so any land lets us play Archon. And then they can Grist it away. That's unfortunate. Deep Cavern Busy. I guess we'll check it out. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. That's disgusting. Okay. Well, I think we may have gone from really good position to really bad position, unfortunately. Man, Grist into Phyrexian Portal. <sighs> well, I guess we got a turn. Oh, Grist into Grist. This is so awkward and annoying <laughs> because if we, the only way to kill their Grist is to sacrifice the bat. How? How does this even happen? But if we sacrifice the bat, they get portal back and then they have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. If we just make a token with Grist, then they just kill the Grist. But I guess they don't kill the bat. No, we plus make it go to four. I guess we have to plus. It's like the only thing we can really do here. Oh, good. A pest infestation. That would have been nice. Yeah, 
That's obnoxious. I assume they're going to kill Argorist. Actually, if they kill, they can kill our bat. I don't know. There's a lot going on here. Pest infestation one turn sooner, man. Kill both of these, make four guys. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yep. Seems good. Tear asunder off the top. <laughs> that would be nice. What do they get back? Centering Titan, Sakura Tribal, or Questing Beast. Their, their answers aren't great. Gravy Boy. I'm glad I did this first. Ophiomancer, sure, that's fine. All right, um... They don't have enough on Gris to kill this. They could get the bat back, which is obnoxious, but then we kill it. Questing Beast doesn't do anything. This might actually win us the game, depending on what they draw. This feels decent. Archon of Cruelty is a hell of a drug. Not an easy choice, I think. I think your options, your best options are either Deep Cavern Bat or Questing Beast. Questing Beast because it kills Grist. But then if you get that, like, Archon just kills you. There's the Bat. Takes Grave Titan. But we have Grist. So again, it's a situation of, like, we kill your Bat, which is our Bat. Play Grave Titan. Attack with Archon. <sighs> All right. <laughs> We're winning against lots of artifacts that we have answers to, but we just don't draw the answers to. So that's good, I guess. Kind of wish I could play Kaido Shizuki, but we only have Tropical Island right now and Mox Diamond, which isn't the best. We have so much discard, which is kind of funny. Like, we have Torok, him to Torok, Thoughtseize, and Mind Twist. Yeah, I don't know. I, In my brain, I'm like, maybe, maybe Terra Sunder and Pesta Infestation will be enough. But you never draw those. Yeah, here's a here's a one lander with with the Terra Sunder that we were talking about. So we're gonna mulligan. There we go. All right, keep. This seems like an easy pitch. Turn to this guy. I want to keep this. I think it might be Torok here. We're pretty far away from casting Torok. Yep. Even farther. I mean, here I think we're just gonna get Swamp. I'd rather, I mean like Indotha Triumph just doesn't do anything. Pretty good. Forest on top. Bomat Courier. 
What? Is that just because you have Tinker in your deck? And you didn't attack with it. What in the earth? Yes, we can tear Courser. Tear Courser a new one. Oh, that seems good. One, two, three. I mean, that's like four turns away, right? Uh, so I think based on them drawing a forest, we want to hit Bat. Okay, that was a good choice. Well, <laughs> they can Grist to get this back. With the forest, they have one, two, three, four, five, six mana anyway, so they can Primeval Titan. Grist is like the only removal, which is usually a good sign to like take it. Because then they just get back whatever you take and they get to keep the Grist. I guess we're just taking the Grist. Ugh, feels bad. Oh, good. Tropical. Okay, so we still have Forest and Channel and Primeval Titan. It looks like they're doing well, but they're losing... They're losing... Primeval and Worm Coil here. Ideally, there will be a, a land on the top that is non threatening. They're going to go get Thespian Stage Dark Depths. You ready? Gaia's Cradle and Island. Mox Ruby on top, sure. So your hand is Forest, Mox Ruby, and Channel, and one other card? What's the other card? Forest. Forest is in the hand. That's what it is. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good. So instead of drawing the Mox Ruby, you actually draw Portal to Phyrexia. Which you can, in fact, cast. Mmm, boy. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exactly enough mana. Plus this guy, I guess, so. Plus channel. Fantastic. Six, seven, eight, nine. We take nine next turn. If we plan on keeping up Terra Sunder for the portal. Boy, this is a real whelp see you later turn, isn't it? Yep. Sure is a scoop, isn't it? <sighs> Once again. <laughs> oh, Lord. Fantastic. Sure. Shipping. I mean, like, this hand is terrible, right? We have a snuff out. Eternal Witness gets nothing. We could we could troll for another green. Seems good. Yep, another land. Great. Um... Oh, boy. Man, with two moxes, you think we'd draw one more frequently. Big lulls. 
Anamorphose. Get a blue. Tinker the Mana Vault. Yep, there's the blue. Just to, did nothing with it. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, Lord. What is going on? I got a 3-2, buddy. He is tenacious. Cycling Manamorphose. That is weird. Are they just going to play Prime Time? Worm Coil. That's worse. No, don't like that. Another Grist. Grazer and Kogla. Well, they're pretty far off Kogla. We'll just take the Grist, I guess. Well, no attacks here. We could just race them on Mana Vault. Razor, you got it. Forest into play. So they played forest and they put other forest into play. You got it. Bone shards. Do we just kill one of these guys? Probably. I think the five, I think having five lands is a little more relevant here. Okay, great. You drew something you can cast with it. Fantastic. All right, well, we're definitely sacrificing that thing. Or bone shardsing that thing and sacrificing for that. Do I want to take seven? Not really. Solid draw. Let's see if we can draw something just as good. Fantastic. Let's go to three. <laughs> and this guy. Well, we can cast anything in our deck except for Archon. So that's a thing. Sure. All right, go to three. Need a draw. Give me strength. <laughs> Oh, God. Do we have an instant that we can just cast? I don't think so, but might as well try. I guess then they kill us with this guy, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, that's the end. All right, just another land, so thank goodness. <sighs> Fucking unreal. How 
How is it? How? Like, explain it to me. <laughs> oh, just, I don't get it, man. All right. I mean, I'll keep this hand, but it'd be nice if we had a mox every so often. We have no one drops. We'll just go try them into tenacious under tenacious D. I did. I did see that uh, Loretta from from Justified is going to be in the second season of Last of Us. Um, what if we attacked under the swamp? Guess we'll just play an Ophiomancer. Uh, no, I'm going to daze. No, they're not. They're just doing it. They're just doing the thing. Okay, well, we're getting a little... Fatal push. You got it. Time spiral and two lands. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, wonderful. Love helping you delve. Hmm, how nice. I've seen that before. If it wasn't for bad luck, you would have none at all. Yes. Fantastic. Sure. What a fantastic turn of events that was. Not for us, of course, but you know, for some. Well, Echo and Time Twister are gone, so we've got that going for us. Bolus is Citadel. And they did nothing with it. That's nice. Let's Thought Seize, I guess? What do we got here? Do we just Grave Titan? Man, I sure would like to Thought Seize here. Thoughtseize ourself, Recurring Nightmare, Grave Titan. That's the same as just playing Grave Titan, right? <sighs> Draw a card and lose a life. We could Eternal Witness and get this back, but we only have two green instead of three, so that's not great. Yeah, the problem is, like... I guess this is fine. Oh, Breach. And another dig through time, huh? Well. Do it again. Oh, 
That's what we call the old double yoinker. It's a classic. Okay, so we know they have the... <laughs> oh, well, that's good. So, one, two, three, four. Creeping Tar Pit is gone. I think they have... Okay, we can him them. Him. I mean, this kind of shuts off their their bullets to it all, right? Oh, mana drain. What? What? Well, that's fascinating. Yeah, they did gush, but I actually thought they cast it. I, I, why would that wouldn't return two lands though? You know what I mean? So like, I don't know how many. I don't know what the, I don't know what they have in their hand anymore. Yeah, they gushed off Citadel, right? I don't know what are you saying, Nick? What's your point? What's the point you're making? I know why they're at six. I know what's going on. Snap. Back to reality. You have one life to play with. Class is Oracle. I don't see it. Was that Swamp? Okay. They're not dead because they have Creeping Tar Pit here. Hmm. So they just block here. No, they have to block here and then block with tar pit. No, no, yeah, I was confused that they didn't cast drain to, to target the him. That's that's oh, we just win the game. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Okay. So we're bringing in endurance here. Um Probably want Concealing Curtains, maybe? Bone Shards doesn't seem great as a sorcery speed. Plus, the only creature we saw was Thassa's Oracle, and I'd rather just have, like, Snuff Out for that. Massacre Girl doesn't seem great. Yeah, I'll just bring in Curtains. That seems correct. All right, let's see if, oh, look, a Mox. Guys, it's a Mox. This is a first turn Dread Knight draw. Get this, get this. Or is it just better to put a three drop on the board or a three, three power guy on the board? I don't think so. That seems good. Okay. I think we cycle troll here and then we can reanimate it next turn. Interesting, you chose me. That's fascinating. Let's get... Probably just Overgrown Tomb here. I don't think they saw the nightmare last game. Let's 
All right, three turn clock. Oh, what? <laughs> Very aggressive. Whoa, boy, that's a that's a that's a bingo. Okay, what does it say? You when it dies, you may cast it from your graveyard as an adventure until the end of the next turn. Okay. That was satisfying. Let's play another swamp. We'll just keep up endurance, I guess. Because I don't want any lion's eye diamond shenanigans. Where they go LED, crack it, echo beyonds, or some bullshit. Hmm. Okay. Do we just nine them? Oh yeah, they're just dead, right? We just nine them in blitz. Okay, got him, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the green-black mid-range deck has been fun and decent. I just think the artifact decks are everywhere and it's not very fun. Thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you next time.